beautiful Pisces is Kim here from Sydney Australia Kim Enchantress here to do a love reading for you it is the love activation for November 21 and I've uh, chosen some cards from the uh, romance angel cards zodiac moon deck and the crystal mandala we're doing the basis of a reading with the enchanted Lenormand and there will be an affirmation at the end so we'll get started and we've got from the Romance Angel card, Calling in Your Soulmate. For singles, single Pisceans, you've definitely been getting lonely. Um, you know, you, you just want that special someone in your life, someone that you can connect with straight away. It could be someone from a past life, someone from past um, relationship in this lifetime. It's someone that you know very well or when you meet them you'll feel that you know them but this is um you praying for someone beautiful to come into your life and you're visualizing the way you want them to look you've got a specific um idea of what this person looks like and you may have seen them in your dreams so we'll see what's happening here for you pisces okay so we've got the moon as a focus card here with the Lenormand cards. The moon can represent a Cancerian person. And it, it's also telling me that you are in love, Pisces. You're swept up in your emotions, your romantic feelings. Even if you haven't met this person, you definitely know they're on their way to you. And it means that the loving, emotional, affectionate, protective and watery planet, the moon, combines sensitivity, compassion, it's got this caring kind of um, energies to it. We are in, uh, very emotional and romantic, have a great imagination, and you're very intuitive and artistic. Now, it is a mutable water sign. So the moon shares a neutral relationship with Jupiter, and it's um, weird that it says that because we've got the bokeh here, which is the planet Jupiter, and it's right next to it. So... When it shares a neutral relationship with Jupiter, this is your planet that rules you here, Pisces. So that's beautiful. Now we've got in your thoughts, the dog. Whatever you're visualizing and manifesting, you've got the dog here. So it's your 11th house. And you, you want someone that you can trust, someone you can rely on. They've got to be faithful. They've got to be loyal. Now, relentless and devoted people born with Pisces in the 11th house and it's talking about you Pisces you're compassionate and always giving to your loved ones however if you're not choosing your friends wisely you can end up disillusioned <clears throat> with the moon so you are extremely devoted to everyone that you love and like your only partner or your soulmate can be now we're going to look at the underlying issue, which is the bear. And the bear is um, someone who's powerful, someone who, who's nurturing. It is your first house of self, so it can be an overprotective um, energy. And you may be a wealthy lover with strength, but the first house in Pisces, when the first house begins in your sign, we have to understand that you are a person on a mission, you're born with a higher cause and you need this to be recognized. You are someone that has sensitivity, you're emotional, you've got big eyes and a tender soul, pretty much. Now a mystical or spiritual approach to life helps you along your way and the ability to see interconnectedness on everything and in inability to make distinctions. Now confusion can come into your, the, the direction of your life if you're a little too over-controlling. But cube, confusion is how to approach life. Empathic approach to life and a humble, selfless person. So that's being it's about being selfless. You're always giving to others. Now, in the past, we had the Lilith. Now, what I'm feeling here is that you were in a difficult relationship. Now, these cards... Energy is sexuality, particularly with fetishes, 
with an ex-partner. This person may have had a high libido. It's about arguments, um, abuse and conflict. So this person may have had a fetish that didn't sit well with you. And usually the Lilith in Pisces sometimes considers itself a victim of others and gives away all its power. So this is what you've probably done with an, an ex perhaps. You gave away your power by letting them control you. And you became the victim in that scenario. So this card here tells you how to deal with your shadow side. And besides the sign, there are other parameters in the relationship you have to consider. So let's look at your future, which is your ruler sign here, Pisces. It's the bouquet, planet Jupiter. So I feel like there's joyful times ahead coming. Gifts and uh, you being appreciated, a blossoming romance, definitely with that soulmate. This person's very attractive, pleasant company to be around and very agreeable to whatever you want to do. Now, they're also artistic and very fashion conscious. And the sign of Pisces gives the planet Jupiter great sensitivity since this is the gift of the sign and it's the uh, ability to feel other people's energies around you. So you're a bit of an empath as well. Now, it is possible to have an unrealistic expectation of what will happen during this transit when your soulmate comes in. But while they're maybe entitlement or an unwillingness to work hard for what you're, you're visualizing or manifesting. Nevertheless, the combination of Jupiter and Pisces can bring success. Jupiter in your sign represents the largest possible expansion of your life. Now, it's very rare to find a soulmate, especially in romance. <coughs> now, Whatever the energies in Jupiter is, it's going to be magnified to everything that's good in your life, Pisces. So what I'm feeling with this reading is that you may be um, financially struggling with an uh, ex-partner or, you know, um, this is after an emotional abuse, some obsession to sex in the past. Now, you've got happy emotions coming. That'll be um, bringing you prosperity. There's going to be a good friendship with this partner. A lovely friend in your near future. Now this will be an emotional friendship. This person is very protective and they're very wealthy. They also have a powerful emotion for you. And protective feelings for you. So that's beautiful. Now we've got... Um, Aries, eclipse in Aries, which is about boosting this relationship through compromising. It's collaborating in some way with this person. And, um, you know, the sun shines a light on everything. So you are a spiritual being. And you are led by your interests and above all, love with all your heart, he Pisces. This is referring to this karmic connection that's coming in. Could be the soulmate or someone that you're just drawn to. And it's signifying the time is right for um, a personal collaboration. It could also be business as well. Now this is going to make you feel fulfilled. And you're going to be expressing your true self. This person brings out your true nature. And um, they're going to help you find your best purpose in life. It's going to allow you to follow the yellow brick road along your way to completing projects that you've put aside, you know, put on the back burner. And they're going to help you express your talents that have been laying dormant. They're going to help you get ahead here. Now, Pisces, even if you may feel shy or you're unable to express yourself, you're going to feel eclipsed by this person. It's important at this time to see the other person's viewpoint, but also be assertive in yourself. Avoid tempers and controlling behavior because you've got the whip here, 
which is abuse, and you've got the bear, which is controlling. So you've got to avoid that. You know, you've got um, someone lovingly that's coming into your sphere. And relationships are the first track to learning at this time. So you've got to seek to understand yourself and others if you feel your way is being blocked in any way. Show compassion and understanding. You've got to learn to collaborate, to compromise. So this is changes in your relationship for the big picture, a turning point in your life, a learning curve. So this person may be coming in uh, to teach you a lesson, to teach you your karmic lesson. So that's beautiful. Um, connecting with someone from the past or past life. Now, you've got this beautiful activation card, the goddess Lakshmi. And you've got the Denridic Agate Crystal. It's her golden grace. Now, this is beautiful. It really looks like this card here. Same colour. So you've got a large expansion coming in. Now, this is your affirmation that you have to say in a quiet space. Enlightenment, prosperity, goodness and grace flow through and around me it is this though it is as though my soul dances in soft golden honey-like energy abundant with nourishment and healing properties through her gentleness the goddess offers my soul an irresistible invitation to receive her blessing and emanate the beauty of the divine there is a gentler way through which i make even greater spiritual progress i joyfully and peacefully accept this path and allow my heart to let go. So you need to let go of whatever happened to you in the past. So you can, you know, enjoy this um, invitation. All the blessings coming your way. So that's beautiful. That's a beautiful reading for you, Pisces. So if it resonated, please hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel to help me further my um, career on YouTube. And uh, reach more people. To get the messages out that I'm guided to do by spirit. Love you all. Please stay safe. Bye for now.